Welcome back. In this session, we're going to look at creating personalized navigation. Currently on our form, we have, have the Microsoft controls sitting inside the boundaries of the form, and we may not want this to happen. Therefore, people can click around in areas that we don't want them to. So to do this, what we need to do is actually turn off the navigation that Microsoft supplies us. So what we're going to do is head back into the design of this parent form, which is um, planets and we're gonna have a look at the properties of the form. Now on this, we're gonna to go to all, and halfway down this, we've actually got navigation buttons and record selectors. So we can actually turn those off and say, no, you can't have them, and no, you can't have those either. So once we've done that, when we go back and look at the view, you notice that the navigation that used to live down here is now gone. But the problem with that, I can't actually change from one record to another. So let's work on the moons now. To change the moons, I need to open up the moons form by itself. So I'm going to close this form and save it. I'm going to open up moons. And once again, with the properties open, I'm going to head down and change the navigation to no and no. And once I close this, close the properties on that one, save it. When I open up the parent form, you notice now the subform does not have any navigation on it as well. So we need now to actually introduce our own navigation. So when I head into the design of the parent form again, so this is form for the planets, I can actually create some navigation that's kind of just reside in this little spot here. Now underneath the design tab for form design tools, you'll notice there's a whole series of options that are here and you need to explore these as we go along through different courses. But what we're going to be concerned with at the moment is the button. So I'm going to click on the button, I'm going to head down into this area, and I'm just going to draw a square at the moment. So this is the area which the button's going to appear. Now I'm using the wizard, and once again a little window opens up, and it actually gives us some options. So we actually have record navigation, and that's the one we're going to be looking at in this tutorial. But there are also form options and report options, and so have a look through the list and see what is there and spend some time looking around. But what I want to do at the moment is go through this list. I don't want to find the next record. What I want it to do is actually go to the next record. So we have a function here that says go to next record. And what that will do is when I click on this button here, it will move to the next record in sequence. I'm going to click on next. We have an option of just having text like next record and that will show up as the caption on the button or I can actually introduce some pictures. So at the moment it's got just an arrow, or I can have a big arrow. So I'm gonna go with this one here. You can actually browse and input your own graphics and design your own buttons. And if you've got time to do that, by all means do that. So I'm just gonna use the go to next button, click on next. You can actually give it some um, meaningful names. I'm just gonna leave it to command 18. Be careful when you're naming things. They can't have any reserved characters or spaces. It's much the same as creating a function name in um, Visual Basic. And therefore, I'm gonna actually leave mine at the moment as command 13. Otherwise, I could have next record, but all one word. And I'm gonna click Finish. Now you notice it's created a little button for us. And now when I go into View, I now have a button that when I click on Next, I can actually cycle to the next planet. Now the problem is I can't actually get back so I need to introduce another button. So once again get up design view, grab the button, draw it on stage, I want to go to previous record, next, next, notice the buttons are the same type, I'm going to leave the default name and there we go. I can then put these buttons together. So when we run it this time I've got a forward and I have a back. So that's working really well. But I want to introduce one more button onto this as well. So let's go back into our design view. Select the buttons, draw a button. And this time I want to go into form operations and I want to close the form. So I'm going to click on next. I'm going to have a stop sign click on next, and click on finish. I'm just going to move that one across, put this in the middle, 
bump that one back into it. So now I've got a little menu bar there, and I'm going to just go Command S to save it. So now what I can do is I can cycle forward, I can cycle back, and I can also close the form. So I've just created some useful navigation. And just to check it once more, I'm going to open up the form, go forward, back, and close. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I'll see you next time.